Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Forgotten Friends Friday. So we are going to work with some of these papers that come in the Somerset Studio magazine. So like here's some that are still in this magazine. So that's what we're gonna work with. And um, I have a stack of them, like all these I have taken out of the Somerset magazines already. So I thought we'd try and make some ephemera and stuff with them. I have, a, I have one little thing that I wanna kinda try as well. So we'll get started on that. Let's say hi and hugs to Frida, Jeannie, Joanne, and Heather. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, well, first things first, this, I, I kind of want to try uh, something. See how shiny that is? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is. And um, I was thinking if I brushed a little clear gesso on it, what would that do? This is a really grungy one. Let's try it with this one. Just see what happens. Just kind of wanted to... Um, like have it a bit, have it a bit less shiny. And so maybe that will work. We'll, we'll give it a try. I'm just going to put out some book pages here to protect my desk a little bit. So I hope you're all doing well. I am filming this on Monday. I'm still frantically trying to stay ahead <laughs> so, so that when we take our trip to Denver, I don't miss any videos. That's, that's my goal. We'll see how we do. But um, I just yesterday got back from my retreat. So, okay, so this is Liquitex Clear Gesso. That's what it says on it. So let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Um, I know it will make it grittier, but, you know, a couple questions I had was, would it make it curl? Would it... Um, you know, would it dull down the picture? I, I don't know. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Yeah. So anyway, just got back from my friend's retreat and, um, there will be a video coming, um, probably on Sunday to show you what I got done. I was pretty productive. I mean, I'm just going to say, I'll just toot my horn a little bit and say I was pretty productive. I got seven journals done. <laughs> but as you know, I had the covers done. I had the signatures picked out. I had a lot of the ephemera pre-made, you know, so it's not, it's not as amazing as it sounds. <laughs> it's just not but um but yeah so that was good and then i got a bunch of ephemera made i want to show you some stuff that i found at the antique mall and stuff so i have stuff to show you but i wanted to do forgotten friends friday and then oops and then i need to do my scrappy saturday video too i have something fun for tomorrow for that so, yeah, so anyway, all that to say, um, we have some fun stuff coming up, and I am excited to um, film it. <laughs> it's fun to be, it's fun to be back filming, although it was a lovely break in the action. We had, for those of you who saw my last video about my friend Diane's retreat where it was not great. We had a we had a lady that was a little tough to be around. Um, this one was fabulous. Absolutely what it should be. You know, lots of giggles, lots of inspiration, oopsie, all that kind of stuff. So it was, it was awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to set my paintbrush and gesso aside and we'll just see how we end up liking that, or even if we do. So, and then we'll just make some other stuff. Okay, I'm gonna set that behind me and I'll keep checking it to see if it's, um, 
if it's dry or whatever. But meanwhile, I, I have no idea. We're just going to look at these and see what ins what would inspire me to do something. Actually, that one could be kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to put those two together. We might... Um, These could be cute paper quads, she says. Designed by Sarah Wilkins for Stamping Tent Stamping and Company. Those would make good um, journal cards, I think. So that's what we'll do with those, maybe. Ooh, that's a fun one. These actually together are fun. I'll pair those up, too, just in case we want coordinating papers for something but i thought i'd just kind of flip through what's here and see Ooh, that's a fun grungy one isn't it aaron solace Oop, there's more journal cards and these would be fun little journal cards too they're like library cards there's another one um Those are a little bit giant for one of my journals, but we'll see. I'll put that on top. Ooh, this is a fun mixed media looking one. Megan Horan. So, so that's, that's what we've got torn out. But usually there are like... Um, don't know how many there's usually yeah there's like several spots in the magazine where they are so what do we have one two there three four that's cool five six maybe six in a magazine Oops, seven, eight. That one's cool. Oh, those ones are really cool. Well, maybe we'll take these out because there might be something there we want to play with too. And I have more in my folder. It's just like, I just have, I have a lot of them because I subscribe to this magazine and I love it. Okay, so it does have a perforation, but getting it to... To perforate <laughs> is a whole nother thing. Let's see if we can. Yeah. I'm scared I'm going to rip it. Perforate you. Well, the other thing you can do is use your, use your little conifer. So, yeah, so came home yesterday. Of course, I was with my, there we go, my quilter friends from, from the retreat. So we had to stop at, there's a cute little um, quilt store in Avon, Montana, which is basically your, you know, little stop in the road kind of a place. It's very small. Um, but it's got this fabulous quilt shop oops oh well that's how it's gonna be it's gonna have it's grungy you can have a grungy edge that's fine um anyway stop there and that was really fun what i was super excited about was they're actually carrying kathy holden fabric woohoo so i got myself a little charm pack uh, the um, Antique and Lace and Saving Grace line of Kathy's. And so I got a charm pack, which I already have that fabric, but you know, in my book, you can never have too many, uh, too many Kathy Holden things. But anyway, so, um, and my friend Diane got she get I think she got three charm packs and she's making table runners with them so 
Um, my friend Diane, she's under the Big Sky Design on Etsy. And, um, yeah, I've already spoken for one of the Kathy Holden ones. <laughs> okay, well, see, easy as that. And then you've got, oh, no. Easy almost as that. And you've got these wonderful kind of mixed media designs to play with. There we go. Boy, those fell right out. That was awesome. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe we'll use an image out of there or something. Okay, so we have more to, even more to play with. So let's, let's look at these first. Just make a couple journal cards. They're going to have to be backed because of all of the, you know, identifying who. Let's do that one. And maybe that one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they, um, you're going to have to cover the back. So what I'm thinking is why not do that before cutting it up? How about, oh goodness. My stuff down below here is falling. So, so there's that. Okay, let's do like, that's all very really I want my I want that kind of paper. Okay. Diving under my desk here. So will one will that fit? Oh yes. Yes it will. Cool. Okay. So that's going to be easy peasy. We'll just glue this. I think I would sew around these two. Oh, guess what I did at the retreat? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Your friend. I don't know what to do with her, but I, I kind of broke the sewing machine there. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I like broke it, broke it, but it was, it was like an old, Plus, I think kind of inexpensive singer, and I didn't really know how to do the bobbin. Probably should have just well. See, I didn't take my sewing machine. First part of the story is I didn't take my sewing machine because we had um, my friend Diane's sister was coming with us, so we had four people in my van instead of three. And the fourth puts it right over the edge <laughs> as far as taking the stuff you need. So I didn't take my own sewing machine. So I used the one that was at the retreat house. Well, I don't know if that was a good idea because I had issues. So there you go. Well, you know, what the heck. I, I We left her a note and said, oopsie, Gail. Gail had troubles with the sewing machine oh but oh well okay see what we'll do twill do and then we'll just cut those apart yeah nice okay but I'll I think I'll want to sew around them too but don't worry about that right now but yeah so that's prepared we can do that. Let's do one more here. Yeah. So let's see what else. Oh, that what was kind of fun was when we got to the house, there was a deer on the, on the deck on the, <laughs> which is, it's got sliding doors from the craft room, which I think was probably the family room of the original house before it became a retreat center anyway yep the deer was right up on the right there and we were like oh the welcoming committee <laughs> so yeah that was kind of cool and um you know and we opened the blinds and we're looking at her and she just was looking at us with those are big huge brown eyes the deer have and it was it was pretty fun to see so that happened. So, you know, we have a thing of what happens in Anaconda stays in Anaconda. So I can't tell any stories out of school. 
but I can tell you a few of the fun things. We had great food. Everybody cooked and it was yummy. I made Mike's Italian pasta salad for the lunch that I had to do. And that was good. It's kind of labor intensive chopping up the vegetables. So I did it in the morning and got the salad in the fridge so it would be nice and cool. And yeah, it was a good lunch. And then I had drumstick ice cream cones for dessert for lunch. So that was good. Okay, I'm going to do just one more. I'm going to do this too. Um, yeah, so that was good and everything. And then on Saturday night, we go out to dinner and we went to the Italian restaurant that I really like. Last time we went to another restaurant that I don't really care too much for. So I was super excited. We went to the Italian restaurant and it was yummy. I had, I had salmon and garlic mashed potatoes. Oh, and then they had like a baked zucchini. Oh, that's good for kind of their seasonal vegetable, you know? And so that was super good. And yeah, it was, it was yummy. So we did that and then went home and worked on our stuff some more. So yeah, it was good. And Saturday, so uh, we get there Wednesday, and then we go out to lunch. So we did that. We went to a place called Donovan's, which is yummy, if you're ever in Anaconda, Montana. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we went there and, um, and then started working in the afternoon. So worked Wednesday afternoon. Um... And then Friday, let me see. This is getting dry. So it's gritty now, but it's still kind of shiny. So I don't think that takes much of the shine off, which is fine. Okay. So I just wanted to experiment with that. Um anyway, so the and then see what was it was it Saturday afternoon um, we went to the antique mall I have oh I see I don't know I have a little hair and it's bugging me there it is it's just there we go um, yeah, we went to the antique mall, so I have stuff to show you that I got at the antique mall. Didn't get a ton of stuff. The thing I was kind of, I think, most excited about is I found a bunch of, um, Clive Cussler books, which aren't vintage, but, um, somebody had them. They were selling them in their booth, and Mike likes that author, so I think I got him like five Clive Cussler books. So that was a good find. And then, like I say, I'll show you everything else on Sunday. But, um, and then the other thing I think we'll do on Sunday. So, so some of the journals had just a little something that I needed to add to them but I didn't have the supply with me that I needed so there's a few little this is and that's to do so um, I'll need to finish those up so that'll kind of be Sunday's video I think um, yeah anyway it was it was good fun it was good fun we had a great time okay so I met my friend Diane's sister and, oh, I got this one. And I met another lady who, um, she is my friend Lynn's friend. And she's just thinking she'd like to get into journals. She's a quilter and um, 
it was fun because she was like, now what do you do with this? Or how do you, how do you do that? You know, and it was fun to kind of show her. So, um, I think maybe my friend Lynn will bring her over one day and we can do some journal making 101 or something. <laughs> I kind of showed her how to get to my, um, to my channel and I said you just gotta watch lots of videos okay try and line those up right um yeah so anyway it was good it was um the weather was crazy so the day we got there it was like a hundred on Wednesday and then like Friday it was like 54 or something <laughs> ridiculous like that was like oh my gosh you know like I didn't know what to pack or anything as far as clothes went I was like I don't I don't know so I packed a few cool things and I'll just cut that um and some warmer things and it it turned out okay so but yeah <laughs> That was crazy, and the smoke here is super bad. It's the worst it's been today. It's like they have, you know, a range. You can you can look it up, and, and they've got the range of where it's at. Well, it's very unhealthy right now. So Mike's run a few errands, but I've been in the house, and I am going to stay in the house because it's, it's just a little crazy out there. So these are fun. These little library cards. That's going to be. Those will be just kind of fun to tuck in, won't they? And we'll probably just give them a bit of a distress ink. And I think they'll be good. Oh, gosh. My, my scrap bucket is clear across the room. I have not yet recovered from. <laughs> from the retreat I kind of have stuff everywhere not where it's supposed to be so I have more work to do on that okay so those are ready to just be distressed we'll maybe do one of them or something and these we have to cut so that's all right well I think these I would round the corners as well I think and you could sew around or you don't have to because they're nice and glued on there but I think I would like like them better with round corners um so anywho all that to say all that to say um I don't even know where I was antique mall we didn't stop anywhere else did we oh we stopped at the grocery store somebody needed butter for the meal that they were making and I'm like oh yeah Everything's better with butter. So I had a weird thing. So those people who get migraines, maybe they have an idea. But so a couple years ago, when I went to Anaconda, my friend Lynn rode with me. And we went to Stokes, which is the grocery store. We stopped there. Well, um, I came out to the parking lot. And an aura migraine hit me, which I was like, I was so mad. But I thought, you know, that one was my retreat, so I was responsible. And so I was thinking, well, maybe I'm, I've just been too, you know, nervous about it all or whatever. I didn't know. So we go on Wednesday, stop at Stokes. I needed a few things for my lunch, and so did everybody else for their meal so we stopped get to the get to the parking lot and again an aura migraine hits me now what are the chances of leaving the exact same store and coming down with a aura migraine what are the chances of that so i think there may be something in that store that's like I don't know, a cleaning fluid they use or something like that. 
That's what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know. But I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. So, <laughs> so we rushed to the house and I said, Diane, I need to, I need to get in the house so I can get my medicine. And uh, so anyway, poor Diane, she was fumbling with the, with the, uh, um, keypad, you know, on the lock, trying to get it quick so that I could get my medicine. Well, I got my medicine. I was fine. But isn't that weird? I think that's crazy that it happened at right at the same, literally the exact same time after getting out of that store. So I think there's something weird there. Yeah. So anyway, but I felt, I felt fine after that. It was okay. As long as I get my medicine, I'm good. So my husband, as we speak, is going to the pharmacy to get me a refill because I think that about did it. But I've been doing really good on those ever since I had my tune-up at the naturopath. Look, so we have all these fun little cards. Now you could cut up, you know, ones that ones that weren't in force too for journal cards. Okay. But this one, I was thinking about making, let me get my idea book here. Oh, I think it's in this one. I don't know. Yes, I was thinking about doing one of these pockets that my pal Frida from Rustic Prairie Jour Journals did. So, okay, so I have the, the dimensions. I think I want this on the back and that other on the front. So let's make one of those quick. Um, five by eight is what we want. I used these in the journals that I made at the retreat and they were awesome. They were just awesome. So let's see, eight. Be about there. Would it be better this way? Just, I'm looking at the design. I think this way is better. Okay. okay. So there is that. Oh, I'm going to need this for the pockets too, aren't I? Hello. Okay. And then my other little piece of paper went where? Oh, put it up here. Okay. So then this, the bigger ones are four by three. I think I'm just going to cut this at four. And am I going to be able to, yeah, I should be able to get, yeah, okay. <laughs> four by three. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Four by three. Okay. I was thinking there was three pockets. And you totally could do three pockets if you wanted. Okay. And then three and a half by two and a half. So how big is this? Um, so let's do this three and a half. And then do... I'm going to start from the book. The Bogota. Boy, I don't know. My talking, I almost said begonia. I'm going to start from the bottom and make those that color. Jeez. Two and a half. Okay. So those are those. And then, then it's like one by one and five eighths. How big is this? Not big enough. Okay, so let's grab this one. Sorry, I can't seem to grab it. Okay. One by one and five eighths. Let's see. Half. Five eighths. <laughs> I think right about there. That's what I'm going with. <sighs> and one and there. 
Okay. Alrighty then. So then this little, this little one goes. Oh wait, I only needed two. <laughs> I told you I am really out of practice. Not that I don't do stupid things just in general when I'm doing videos, but you know. Okay. Okay, so that will be good. I think I might tweak this slightly is what I'm thinking. And I think I might round some corners. So what I'm thinking I might do is round the top and then round the top of the big pocket. So that's the great I the great thing. You can take someone else's idea and tweak it slightly and it's kind of your own. So I had another weird thing happen while so, so that's gonna be cut, so we don't need that. I think this one I'm just gonna round this corner just a fourth of an inch, not the half. So the top corner. Is that the yes? Kind of like that. This other, um, the middle one's going to be cut at a slant like that. So, um, anyway, I had another weird thing, and I'm feeling it right now, which is why it brought it to mind, is, um, I'm going to go up an inch here. And go over... Maybe an inch and a half. Um, anyway, I had like a Charlie horse in my, you know, the cord that <laughs> this, this one right here. Oh my gosh. I was like, it made your pain. And thankfully one of the gals had some stuff called stop pain. Well, it's pretty amazing stuff. And, um, so anyway, I borrowed that and that, it was just a spray on thing and it was good. So, you know, with that little corner, you could also, if you wanted to, I don't, but if you did, you could, instead of these little, these little pockets here, you could do this and have a little corner tuck thing. So, but that's not what I want to do. Okay, so I think I might distress this and um, and get it glued down. And then we might do a little decorating, I'm thinking. So anyway, that is good stuff. I mean, it, it kind of freezes it slash heats it. I know that sounds weird numbs it kind of or something um and it probably it probably just gives you enough release relief that you can um uh relax your muscles or something but and you know it was just from crafting for 12 hours a day but <laughs> it was hopping around it was like ow 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 everybody's like what's wrong with you well, I have, I'm having a Charlie horse in my cord of my neck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So anyways, but so fun. Had such a good time. I, um, my friend Lynn was working on journals. That was awesome. Everybody else, well, her friend that was kind of getting interested in doing journals, she was actually doing embroidery. And then, um, then everybody else was quilting. <sighs> quilting is just not for me, though, guys. It is way too precise. And then, and then when they have to rip it out, they are better than, better woman than me. I'd be wadding it in a ball and sticking it in a closet or something. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd go through the tearing out. 
so let's see. So that was super fun. Um, I got messages from my husband on the girls volleyball because I did miss volleyball this weekend, which was kind of a killer. So my husband is like, can't wait for they the the second game they played. Um, they played against a town that's right by them, so it's almost like a rivalry game. Well, it probably is a rivalry game. Anyway, so um, so Mike texted me and said, "Oh, I can't wait till I can't wait for you to see, you know, to to watch this on you know on the NFHS or whatever." And I'm like, well, what happened? And he said, I'm not going to tell you. And I'm like, tell me right now, I, you know, because he had told me that that their first game, that they had lost their first game that they had on whatever that was, Thursday or something. No, Friday. So then the Saturday game, he says that. I can't wait for you to see it. And I said, well, what happened? And he said, the only thing I'm going to tell you is our granddaughter is amazing. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So he didn't tell me. I mean, like he kept it a secret. I was like, oh, it's driving me crazy. So yesterday when I got home, first thing I said is like, we're going to watch, we're going to watch the game. That's what we're going to do. And, um. So we did. Well, it was a match that went five uh, five sets. So it was very, you know, very close all the way along and stuff. Well, the so the fifth set goes to just to 15. The other sets go, they play to 25 points. So it goes to, so it goes to 15. Well, in the end... Our granddaughter Addie had some part to play in 12 of the 15 points. I mean, she was everywhere. And just, she was just not going to lose that game. That's all there was to it. She's like, nope, that's not happening. So, yeah, it was, it was really cool. So that was fun to watch. I'll probably this afternoon, as I've been doing, I kind of relax and watch some of their volleyball. Fun. That's fun. It needs it needs stuff though. It needs some more, like some maybe some washi tape at the bottom or something. Um, yeah. So anyway, he was right. She is amazing. Okay, what do I have in here on these decorative tapes, if you will, that would kind of go cool with that? What about this? I think I'd like it if it was a bit... A little bit thinner. Um, yeah, so that was fun. Let's see. My other big news. I'm full of news because I haven't I haven't videoed for a long time. So I'm just I got all sorts of stuff to tell you. But oh, this was so funny. So I go to leave my house to go get my friend Diane and her sister and her daughter right before the um before the retreat cuz I drove my van yeah so I open the garage door and there's two men standing in my driveway and I <laughs> to say I was taken aback I mean I would have loved to have seen my face but it was our contractor, you know, the one that gave us a bid a year ago. That's who it was. And a siding guy. So stood there and talked to them for a few minutes. So, but he just called today and he is coming over 
tomorrow to show us samples of the um of the uh decking of the stuff to do the deck can you believe it it's been a year since he gave us the quote yeah it's craziness so we're pretty excited about that so i think i'm gonna make this a little ta little tags for there yeah i was like i can't believe it he's actually he's actually gonna come start working on our house so pretty darned excited about that so that's three and a half one and a half one and three quarters yeah pretty exciting that wasn't right three and a half oh three and a half okay <laughs> Crud. Okay, let's try that again. Three and a half would be half and a quarter, right? So it would be one and three quarters. I don't know what I just did. But that looks right, so we'll go with it. Yes, that looks right. I don't know. I was too busy blabbing. So let's see if these will fit. Yep, that fits in there. That fits in there. Good deal. Yeah, so anyway, that's going to happen. That makes me happy. Except for now, tomorrow morning, I can't do a video. That does not make me happy. So that's why I think I'm going to try and do three this afternoon. But, yeah. Yeah, that was hilarious, though. <laughs> I think I scared them, too, because, you know, all of a sudden the garage door goes up. But, you know, our driveway and stuff is on the side of our house the garage you know opens t to the street on the side and so i totally didn't know they were out there <laughs> and so i had stuff to pack of course i forgot my water bottle because i was got discombobulated with the construction guy being there okay Okay, um, let's see. We probably need some other some other tags. I feel like that could be just cut in half. Two. This is three and a half, two, isn't it? Yeah. We have so one and three quarters. And a skosh more, looks like. I'm eyeballing halfway. Yeah. So, so that's exciting. I hope the weather holds out now. That's all. But, but the other thing is if they have to order the decking, which they probably will, how long is that going to take? You know, forgive me if I'm cynical. <laughs> It's been a year since he gave me the, the um, bid, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, I mean, we're for, oh, son of a gun. It's got that stuff on it. Okay, so those need to be backed, which I'm not going to do at this very moment, but I will do it at some point. Let's see how that's going to look. Okay, I like that. I like them. That's good. Oh, it's a little little high, but that's okay. And then I think I might make this into journal cards for here. So maybe right about there. Let's see how that does. Yeah, so anyway. All that to say, we may be, we may be making progress on that little project. We'll see. Um, oh yeah, that'll go in there just fine. That's a fine enough height, I think. So let's see, I think we can do this one. 
So at least I'll have all the parts and pieces. And then if I've got like a, a particular um, digital or something, I can do some decorating with a fussy cut or something like that. But essentially they are done. I'm going to do quarter inch. Oh, son of a gun. I don't love that. I mean, I know that the designer needs to have their due too, but okay, well, I'll still do this and then just know I have to back everything in here. So, but I got that put together and then I just kind of want to do a little something on the on the journal cards. Yeah, so I think I was saying earlier and didn't finish my thought. <laughs> Go figure. Um, that I did the journals up until Saturday morning. I was like, I just, I don't, I don't feel like decorating a journal. I want to do something different. So I grabbed my um, ephemera and I just played with ephemera. Did a little shopping as I usually do. She has some fun things to buy there. So I'll show you those too tomorrow. Or no, Sunday. Okay, peeps, let's call that done. I've got some I've got some good little leftovers that, you know, can that could be a journal card. Ha! Doesn't have anything on the back. So we're just going to make that a journal card right now instead of sticking it in the scraps. Yeah. So anyway, um, then Saturday, I, Saturday morning, I did ephemera and stuff. And then after lunch, I was like, I have one more journal kit in my, in my bag. Should I do it? And so I did. Got that journal done. And then, so then Saturday late night and Sunday morning, I just did, I just decorated ephemera. So, you know, I used quite a bit of my pre-made ephemera in the journals. And so I replaced a little by making some more. Okay, so that's done. And I'm, I'm really, I think that's really cool. So... That's a good thing. And then let's let's play with decorating for, we only have 10 minutes, 12 minutes. But let's see. What did I do with, I don't have it. Shoot. <laughs> okay, well, let's grab some paper here. Ooh, that's a good one. Gosh. Ooh, look at this. That would be cool. Okay, I want a little something on here is what I'm thinking. And I think that would be just lovely. Lovely, lovely. So let's just go like that. Give that a little bit of a rip. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was, it was a grand time, grand time. I'm telling you, there's just something about like having from the minute you get up in the morning until late at night. And like one night I went to bed at 1230. Other nights it was 1130, you know, it was later. And, and having all that time to just sit and create. It'll it'll give you a Charlie cord, horse in your shoulder cord, but other than that, oh my gosh, that was so crazy. I've never had that happen before. I'm like, ow, ow, ow. Oh, but anyway, it's just awesome to have that uninterrupted time where, you know, the only ex, uh, the only thing that you're 
focused on is that. Getting up and eating, or if it's your turn to make something, make something. It's just like, but it's just so good. I just want to nip that off, but I'm... There we go. Okay. I'm feeling a... I'm feeling a Tim Holtz person. I don't know, maybe... Oh, maybe one of these. I don't know if it'll cover... Excuse me, if it'll cover up the, not too much. Oh, isn't she adorable? I could put her to the side and cut a part of her arm. Or, or let's see. Ooh, this lady's looking that way. That's kind of cool. I like the lost with her. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Yeah, anyways, I, didn't, I had a great time. Great time. A great time, I think, was had by all. Definitely by this girl. And it's, <laughs> it's kind of fun, too, because um, Diane's in charge, and so... I mean, I help, but basically she's in charge, so it's not like, I don't know, you don't just don't feel the same responsibility as when you're in charge of a gathering. So I can really relax. I had a new roommate this time, my friend Diane's daughter, Kelsey. She's awesome. What a sweetheart. And we did just fine together. I'd room with her anytime. Okay. I'm kind of putting her to the side mostly because um, I don't I I don't, I want to be able to see that pretty book page with the. Uh, modeling paste on it. Oh, she's gone crooked on me, girl. Oh, you know, she's going to have to be, I'm just going to have to put some washi there or something just going to have to be crooked because yeah I'll just put some of that on there because um, our glitter glue sticks right away which most of the time is a good thing except if I'm not being straight with my with myself here okay it's all right there's nothing that can't be fixed. Ah, there we go. Okay. All righty then. Let's see. Where are we? We are good. Let's see. Um. Gosh, I don't know that I want anything else with her. She's got her word. I think I'd like a little. There. Maybe something right there. Lost. Found. <laughs> What do we have in here? Hopeful would be nice. She's lost, but she's hopeful. 
that things will be better in the future. I'm just going to run that over my glue stick, even though it's sticky, just always. Yeah, I like that. She's lost, but hopeful. Okay, cool. Well, we got, we got one decorated. We got a little, um, a little bit of stuff to put in the to do, the to do box, which we're going to probably work with that a little bit on Sunday too. Um, because yeah, I just have a lot to get kind of straightened around, but this one, we were able to make some fun ephemera from Somerset Studio Magazine papers. I love these for, um, the images and stuff that are in them too, like, um, you know, like you can cut stuff out of these and use it just uh, just from the other pages and use it on stuff. I mean, the people the people that submit and are in these magazines are so amazing. So, oh, look at that. Yeah, so there's there's lots of journal fodder in these magazines for sure. So, there you have it. Somerset Studio Papers, and, you know, you can make anything with them that you could make with scrapbook paper. So, I hope you enjoyed, um, and will join me the next couple of days, because I got some fun stuff on tap. So, <laughs> so have a grateful day, everyone, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye!